Hey guys, and welcome back to more Ace Combat. Let's complete the game, shall we? Mission 16, strike. Let's go. The enemy is on his last legs. One more strike should lay him out. Take your unit through the ravine to the enemy headquarters. Intelligence is sketchy on forced composition near the headquarters, so keep on your toes. Fly low on your way in. Everything above the ravine is a Sam kill zone. Yeah, so this is one of those um, kind of like filler missions, really. It's basically the the bit that we've already done. <laughs> so uh, it's fine. I'm going to drop a save state here anyway, just because I forgot to save the game. And I don't really want to lose the F-22 Raptor. Now, this game has a few secrets, which we shall have a look at Ready? at the end. Now, luckily... Uh, we can't actually increase or decrease our speed here, so we've just got to go with the flow. And we need to be very careful with our precious F-22. It's a shame that the vector control thrusters aren't animated. I believe they are in the later games. Definitely in like Ace Combat 3, for instance. Electrosphere, which I am actually really looking forward to getting to. But I think we're going to have to try and get the Japanese version of that working. Just going to grab as much cash as we can. Be nice to come out of this with about 200 million. Who wouldn't want 200 million, honestly? Uh, can you even process what it would be like to have that kind of money? I can't even process what it would be like to have a million. Just imagine it. God, imagine being able to buy a house. <gasps> Not in this economy. I think I'd rather just be able to buy a house, to be honest. Although if I had a million, I could buy multiple houses. But I, why? <laughs> I wouldn't really want multiple houses, to be honest. One's plenty, thank you. I'm not greedy. One house or one F-22? Hmm. I think the house would probably be more comfortable. Oof. And done. Wow, that was a really, really short mission. Jeez. Made 13 million from that. You only get like 10,000 for shooting down a uh, Comanche. It doesn't really make any sense how they came up with the uh, cash tallies. Anywho, let's go. Final mission. Now, this one, oof. This final mission, we are actually going to put down a save. Because this is not too bad, but it can be rough. So, let's get the game all saved up. Uh, that'll do. Sure. Yes. Definitely overwrite my data now. It said some, Did it say something about new aircraft? I think if we complete the game on easy, we unlock some extra aircraft as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I did try and chase that up, but I haven't been able to find any um, anybody backing that up. Okay. So in this campaign, we've only actually lost one plane. Urgent message. <laughs> Giant airborne fortress discovered. This may be your final task. Eliminate it before it reaches our airspace. Hang on. Is there... Mission that we haven't done. 
I love the fact that if you're quick, you can transfer over. To a different kind of site <laughs> before the plane's fully rotated. Okay, I thought we hadn't done mission 16. Alright, whatever. So we get 28 and a half million for this. Urgent message. Enemy giant airborne fortress discovered. This may be your final task. Eliminate it before it reaches our airspace. Good luck. This may be your final task. Well, it's definitely going to be our final task. We are going to launch with support, but we're going to go with like the cheapest person because it really doesn't matter like at all. Alright, sorry William and your F1. I guess guard my tail. Sure. 100 grand. Now, we're going to take the F22 probably would have been best off using the A10 for this one, funny enough. But that's fine. It's all gravy. Or something. Ready? Okay. Now we actually have a unique bit of music here for this level. Enemy in sight. And man, the music's cool here. So we have an enemy F-22. Now this thing isn't really as dangerous as it looks. I mean, kind of, with, you'll see. So the music is absolutely freaking awesome here. And we've completely just gone past it, but that's fine. Right, let's point our nose in the right direction. And we're just going to be doing attack runs on this thing. Let's try and hit the engines. First target is the engines. We're going to want to crack those things. Now what you can do is kind of stay behind it. And uh, slow right down and just tear into it. But this thing has so much anti-air on it. That's essentially suicide. And um, we ain't about that noise. Okay. Kind of need to stay behind this thing. Enemy in sight. Yep. Go for the engines. Try and go for the same engine every time. So I think they take four missiles. Might even be more. Come on, baby. There we go. We hit it. We hit it. We hit it. She's cooking. I actually think once you've destroyed enough of the engines, it starts kind of limping around, which is pretty cool actually. Alright, let's blow straight past, and then we're going to want to slow right the fuck down, swing in behind a little bit, like that. Kind of looks like a bird of prey or something. Yeah, so one of his engines is gone. Excellent. You can try and shoot the guns off the sides, but in my experience, like shooting the guns off is almost impossible. Like, you actually get the SAM sights. I genuinely don't know how to hit the SAM sights. Oof. Yeah, you can see they're just spamming missiles at us. Alright, I think, although I say that, I think we just hit it twice. I hope that's another engine gone. <sighs> because once we take out its engines, we've still got to bring the mighty bastard down. Enemy in sight. Nice. And I have spent a lot of time trying... Oh god, it's not going to work trying to actually take those SAM sights out. The actual guns on the wingtips aren't too bad to hit. Usually take a couple of attempts, but it can be done. But I'm, I don't know, I'm leaning towards the engines being, um, or not the engines, the SAM sights on the back. I'm leaning slightly towards those being 
invincible. Although I could be wrong. Come on, let's aim for the engine please. Thank you. Now, if we're lucky, we can actually stay under the sands. Not quite. Come on. Let's get you. Yeah, we've got that. Oh, we took that out as well. Right, so now we've just got to get the main body. So if we stay kind of behind it. I think we're hitting it. I'm not 100% sure. Enemy locked on All right, actually, we appear to be able to take these Sams out. Which I'm very happy about. I had no idea. I've never managed that before. That's really cool. <laughs> we took it out with a gun. <laughs> That's new. I'm really bloody happy with how that went. Never destroyed it first time before. Congratulations. The enemy has capitulated and the coup has failed. The rightful government has been restored to this peaceful country. Your skill as top guns changed the balance. Well. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you. I remember that bit. You can thank me with more cash. I also like the way our wingman at the end of uh, every mission, if you take him or her, um, they dip their wings to you, which is cool. And now we can enjoy the rather awesome ending, which seemed to take place on mission 15 with the bridge. I think that was 15. So does this game still hold up? Well, I mean, I think to a degree it does. It's definitely, you know, if you're used to the later Ace Combat games, it's a fun little look back at where the series started. It's definitely aged, obviously. Um, the, the main way it's aged, really, is just how primitive it looks. And I'm not even just talking because it's a PS1 game, because, you know, Ace Combat 3 and even Ace Combat 2 look pretty good still. But this one was just very, very primitive. But it still plays fine and they're still fun to be had. And I always love this. You see all the planes flying off into the sunset. Man, I watched this so many times. crazy as well to see just how futuristic like some of these jets looked back then. I mean hell the F-22's uh, out of manufacturing now, we don't even make it anymore. And of course the YF-23 never went anywhere. The Eurofighter has about 10 years left before it's retired. In fact, I'm not sure if the Eurofighter was even in service. I think it came into service in, I want to say, 2006? Maybe? So about 10 years after this game came out. Well, about, yeah, 11 years actually. Because I'm sure the Eurofights. No, the, I think the F-22's first flight. No, I can't remember. I can't remember actually. I think the um, F-31, F-35's first flight was 2006, I think. Anyway, now we've got the extra 110 in the top there. That basically means if we save the game and we load the game. Uh, we can now start. No data to save. What? Well, there's an easy way around that. Uh, if we go back to title. And we go one player. 
normal. We should, in theory, if we skip this, start with all the planes unlocked. Now, if we'd done this on hard, we would also have unlocked a level select. Now, from the top of my head, I don't actually think hard mode is that much different. So if we go to view aircraft, yep, you can see we have every single aircraft in the game already unlocked. Which is, you know, it's a cool little bonus, I think. So you can go back through the game and just experiment, which is a nice touch. Now, there's also some little secret cheat codes and things you can do. And to activate the cheat codes, you have to push R1 and circle um, before a loading screen starts. So, let's see. If I can get it to work. This is an evaluation of your operational abilities. Intelligence reports and enemy supply unit moving to resupply their forward positions. Oh, that didn't work. So we've got to get through this. We know. Take off. We're just going to go with the F-22 for shits and gigs. And then we're going to hold the buttons down. Yeah, so there's the secret loading screen. Now, whilst that loading screen is activated, notice how it lasts a little bit longer. That is because that loading screen will allow us to input some cheats. Now, the cheats aren't really anything too crazy. Let's just finish this mission to get back to it. So I don't think we start off with any money or anything, even though we're starting the game again. However, I don't think there's any reason. So you can give yourself uh, unlimited money. You can change it so your wingmen all have the same colours as the enemy. You can change it so your craft have enemy colours and not the ace combat colours. But there is also a secret mini game that I want to try and unlock. Because that was a very Namco thing. Namco and their secret codes. So from what I can understand, there is also a, another secret loading screen, which I'm not sure what that's about. So we're going to try and activate that. Come on. There we go. Just waste these last two. I don't even know, to tell you the truth, what the secret minigame is. We're going to find out, though. I don't know whether it's like it loads into a secret minigame or whether it's just like a secret minigame on the loading screen. Also curious to see whether this was mentioned in the manual. Which it may well have been. But then usually these secrets were just, well, you know, secrets. And it was always fun to discover them. Like having secret loading screens within loading screens. That's kind of interesting. Just thinking about it like that. He's toast. Right, okay. So, what we want to do, we want to hold down uh, R1 and circle whilst we go to the loading screen. And to unlock the minigame, we want to push up, left, down, right. Right, so let's hold down the buttons. Wait for us to fly off into the distance. Up, left, down, right. There we go. Got the little character there. There's loads saying that we put the cheat incorrectly.
Well, I don't know what that actually did. Unlock the minigame. We unlocked it and the code came up. Um, Immediate so how does that work then? Do we have to exit? I'm curious. Uh, we're still on extra 10. Game continue. Right, so... So we've got that secret mini game. Does it appear on the next loading screen? Let's try. Unfortunately, there isn't any uh, more information than that. Immediate mobilization required. Right, let's see. See what happens. Ah, there we go. So, oh, it's like Pac-Man sort of thing. I'm not really sure what the hell was going on there. But Ready? that was that. So the only other cheats really give you um, like infinite money, the mini game, and swap the colours around. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's it. That's it for air combat. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that game. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad I could show off the mini game, even though I'm not really 100% sure what was going on and what was happening. Unfortunately, we only get it during loading screens, so it's going to be a pain in the ass to <laughs> go back and look at. But there we go. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.